A big name early on in your high school career can definitely improve your chances on getting recruited by a Division I college basketball coach, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. These are six tips that can help you improve your chances on being recruited by a college coach. What's going on YouTube? I'm Sir Dante Nathaniel with Custom Fiends Basketball. Played Division I basketball at East Tennessee State. Transferred to Saginaw Valley State University. Had a short stint in the NBA G League and played professional basketball overseas in five different countries. Throughout my career, I've gotten the opportunity to speak and interact with different coaches from all different levels. So let's get into it. Here are six things a coach looks for when they're recruiting a high school basketball player. And one more thing before you guys come for me in my comments about my Detroit Pistons hat. I'm a Michigan native, Metro Detroit native, and I never turn my back on my team. Which brings us to my first tip. Tip number one, your mentality and your body language. Basketball is a game of broken plays and mistakes. They will happen. You will make turnovers. You will miss shots. You will have bad games. You're gonna make bad decisions here and there. But do you let these things get to you? Do you let these things get you out of your game? Do you let these things impact you mentally to where it hurts your team? You don't want things like that to create a snowball effect. Coaches will notice that immediately. Coaches are looking for players that are mentally strong and who can handle tough situations. Coaches are playing close attention to when you are being constructively criticized by your coach. They're looking at your body language when you miss shots. Do you put your head down? Do you pout when you get subbed out of games? Coaches cannot stand a player that constantly complains anytime anything happens on the court. Coaches can't stand players who make a bunch of excuses. All these things are damaging to a program. And at the end of the day, this is the coach's job, it's his career, and he has to take care of his family. Body language is very important and it shows a ton about your mental capacity as a basketball player. So stay positive, lift yourself up, lift your teammates up, lift your coaches up, and always stay in control of your emotions. Number two is be vocal on the court. Being vocal goes for offense and defense. College coaches love players that can communicate. Communication is a big part of the game. Communication helps you get wins. Communication is a key indicator of a high-level basketball player. High-level basketball players are constantly talking on the court. Communicating on the court can come in various forms, but here are a few examples just in case you don't know what to say on the court. So when you're off the ball and help, you might say, I got your help side, cutter coming through the middle, screen left, screen right, I got skip. You need to be the eyes behind your teammate's head. This gives your teammates confidence that you have their back. If they do get beat, all these things helps you get wins. Before games, you normally watch game film. And if you remember a certain thing about a certain player on the court, you can give reminders on telling your player, oh, shooter, shooter, go under or go over. These are all things that'll help you be successful on the court. Coaches pay very close attention to these details. If you don't know what to say on offense, you can always echo what your coach is saying. If your coach calls out a play, echo it to your teammates. If your point guard calls out a play, echo it to your teammates. The biggest thing is to always lift up your teammates, always congratulate teammates, good job, great shot, you got it next time. These are all communication things on the court that support your team morale. All college coaches love to see an extension of themselves on the court no matter what position you play. Number three is compete and play hard every single possession. I see a lot of basketball players these days, they play nonchalant, a turnover, they walk back on defense when they make the turnover. When their teammates make the turnover, they hang their head and let the other team get a layup. You gotta make that ex extra effort. You gotta compete every single possession. Basketball is definitely 100% a team sport, but within that team sport, it's one-on-one -on -one between you and your defender or you when you're defending somebody. You gotta win those one-on-one -on -one battles. That's part of competing that helps your team get the win. Basketball at the college level is all about wins. The coach has to get wins to keep his job. So he's looking for players that are gonna come in, that are gonna do their job, that are gonna play hard and compete every possession to help achieve that goal. They're not there to waste time on a player who's not showing interest in playing basketball. When you're having an off day on offense, how else can you compete to get wins? You might have a game where you have zero points. Can you turn it up on D? Can you get some steals? Can you take some charges? Can you get some rebounds? In basketball, there are tons of things that aren't in your control, but things that you can control are competing. That's something that comes from your heart. You gotta come out there and compete every possession, every play, every minute of the game. College coaches are always looking for players who are gonna make that extra effort. A teammate throws a bad pass high, jump for it. Dive on the floor for that 50-50 ball. If it's a ball that's, that, that may look like it's out of reach, sprint for it. You know, because you never know, you might get that extra possession. That might be the possession that makes you win the game. Coaches love to see players making extra effort. One thing that I can tell you college coaches love is when you sprint back on defense. 
If there's a turnover, sprint back. Try to get that possession back. You know, even if you didn't make the turnover, if your teammate made the turnover, sprint back for your teammate. They like to see that team camaraderie. They like to see players fighting for each other. That builds team morale that helps you get a win in the long run, especially deep in the season. So when you're competing and you're making that extra effort, you will stick out like a sore thumb. Next is to be efficient on the court and have a skill set that you're elite in. When I was in high school, I was not the strongest, I was not the biggest person, but I did work on my jumper every single day, day in, day out. I knew that my shot was gonna be the thing that separated me, so I shot 500 shots a day my junior season. My senior year, I ramped it up to 1,000 threes a day and this made me one of the best shooters in Michigan. I rarely miss shots. I was very efficient spotting up and shooting. My junior year, I was specifically a spot up shooter. It was penetrating pitch basketball. I catch and shoot, and I made sure I knocked it down, and that's what kept me on the floor. My senior year, my game evolved. I still shot threes, but I added some pull-up jumpers in there. I added some getting to the rack. My shooting ability made me one of the best shooters in Michigan. I didn't have any offers my senior year, and then we had one game where we went to Butler University for a Christmas tournament, and we played Lawrence North, Greg Oden, and Mike Conley's team. I knew that there were gonna be NBA coaches, top college coaches in the arena. And, you know, before the game, I locked in. I knew the work that I put in shooting, and I came out and did what I was supposed to do. I ended up having 30 points that game, and that's when letters start rolling in. I started getting recruited by a bunch of different schools, a lot of Division Ones, a lot of Division Twos. But before that game, I had nothing. So just being efficient and sticking to it, playing hard, you'll stick out like a sore thumb. I was a good player, but I was elite in my shooting ability, and that's what made me get noticed. So be efficient and be skilled in a certain area. It doesn't have to be shooting. It can be defense, whether you're getting a bunch of steals, a bunch of blocks, you take charges, you're getting a, a ton of rebounds. All these things separate you from the pack and help you to get noticed by college coaches. A really important standpoint is to be a good teammate. Being a good teammate goes a long way. Nobody wants to play with somebody who's always angry, somebody who's always complaining, somebody who's always putting you down. That's not the type of person you want to be around. That's not the type of person that college coaches want on their team. College basketball is a brotherhood. Everybody has a common goal that you're trying to reach. Everybody wants to make it to that dance. Coaches love players that make everybody around them better. Players that everyone loves to be around. This doesn't mean that you have to be a bootlicker. <laughs> it means uplift your teammates, congratulate your teammates, high five, be a pick me up. Holding players accountable and giving constructive criticism, not tearing your teammates down. Uh, being a leader on the, on the floor. A leader is not always by talking, it's, a, it's it, sometimes you lead by example. Keeping your good body language, not dropping your head when mistakes happen, because they are gonna happen. Um, coaches pay attention to all this stuff. So being a good teammate, being a good person in the locker room, the easiest way to be a good teammate is to be a brother or a sister to your teammates and treat them like family, coaches and players alike. And last but not least, but this is probably the most important one of all the tips that I can give you, having good grades in high school. If you do not have good grades, you are not playing basketball in college. You can forget about it. Every college coach coming to recruit you, the first thing they're gonna look at are your grades. They're not wasting their time on someone who's not doing good in school. You need to lock in, do your schoolwork, don't take it lightly because without grades, you can kiss your career goodbye. You have to be a student of the game and be a student academically. If you need help, get the help that you need. Ask your current high school coach, you know, if you need help in a certain area, get a tutor. Don't be afraid to get the help that you need if you need help, especially if it's trying to get you to that next level to where it can help you change your life. So if you're trying to pursue your dream of playing basketball and you're in high school, do your schoolwork. Make sure you're being studious. Make sure you're taking care of those grades so you can get to the level that you need to get to. I'm emphasizing, do the work in the classroom. I see so many players fall off. You're gonna see a lot of great players that you come across and they're gonna fall by the wayside because they don't have grades. Don't be one of those players. You guys take advantage of the tips that I'm giving you on your basketball journey. I promise you that you will start to see change and coaches will start to take notice. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you found value in the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Good luck on your basketball journey. Keep grinding. You guys don't forget to smile, be happy, make other people smile, and you guys have a good day. Peace.